Greetings all. Tonight we're going to use this outfit right here to capture a ghost. A paranormal expert or anything like that. I'm Coma, and you're watching Coma Astrophotography. Tonight, uh, we're going to go after the ghost of Cassiopeia. It's a gas and dust nebula in the constellation of Cassiopeia. I thought because of the time of year it is coming up on Halloween, I've always wanted to capture this target, so this will be a good uh, target for tonight. Uh, tonight, the rig we're going to use to capture the ghost of Cassiopeia, we've got here the Celestron Nexstar 8SC Smith Cassegrain Telescope. That's riding on top of the Ioptron CEM 60. And hooked onto the back of the telescope for the imaging train, we've got right here the Celestron 0.63 reducer and fill flattener. Uh, taking a picture of it all, we've got right here the dedicated astronomy camera the ZWO ASI 1600MM Pro. Uh, we've got here the ZWO 8 position filter wheel. This filter wheel is really nice because it doesn't matter what target I'm shooting, I'll have a filter for it. For my narrow band, I can fit in hydrogen, alpha, and sulfur. And then for my broadband, I've got the luminance red, green, blue, and I've even got a light pollution filter in the eighth slot. So I never have to change this filter wheel out. I'm using an off-axis guider here for my auto guiding. This is just the ZWO off-axis guider. And for the guide camera here, I've got the Lodestar X2, Starlight Express Lodestar X2 for my guide camera. So this is the setup that we'll be using tonight to capture the ghost of Cassiopeia. Alrighty then, the ghost of Cassiopeia. Uh, as soon as it got dark, I saw Polaris right here I went ahead and polar aligned the mount so we're polar aligned and I'm going to show you our navigation plan for tonight we're pointed right here uh, you see in this uh, blinking blue box that's where the ghost of Cassiopeia sits uh, you see constellation of Cassiopeia is right here and this point which uh, is the point of the M or the W whichever way you look at it that star there is called Gamma Cassiopeia it's also called Navi but right there at that star is where our target sets at. Now the star Navi, Navi uh, is not in the PointCraft database that I use. Uh, so I'll have to pick a different star to do the focus and mount alignment. This star here is called Shadar. And it is in the uh, database that I use. So what I'll do is from here we'll go right over to this uh, star called Shadar. We'll do a focus and a mount synchronization. And then from there, we'll jump right on down to the ghost of Cassiopeia, get our guiding going, and start the imaging plan. So that's our general plan for the evening. Okay, we're ready to head on over to Shadar. I'm going to use plate solving and uh, point craft, the go to plus plus function, to get that done. Uh, something I want to show you first though, let's go back to the camera tab, or actually we'll go to the gear tab. We want to make sure that we have the luminance filter selected. I like to use the luminance Roger filter uh, to do these plate solves. I also like to use five seconds. Uh, that's what we currently set at exposure, five seconds. A lot of times one second will work, uh, but five seconds it generally always works. So make sure I have those settings before I start the point craft. Now we'll call up Point Craft. I told you we're going to use Shadar as our focus star. So down here in the Go To Plus Plus section of Point Craft, we'll open the Objects menu, Stars, and here's the star Shadar there in the Cass constellation of Cassiopeia. So we'll put it there. I got to tell my mount to start tracking. And Go To Plus Plus. And now it's going to zoom right on over to Shadar. 
and there it goes just like I told it to do now once it stops on where it thinks is Shadar it's going to take a picture uh, it's going to plate solve that and see if it's really there uh, if it's not it'll make a slight it's adjustment and it'll get there so see if Shadar shows up right here in the middle all right it didn't so it's not quite there so it's going to do a plate solve and it says it was within 11,000 pixels so it made it a quick adjustment now it's going to take another picture to see uh, see where it's at let's look for Shadar right here in the middle exposure finished well it's pretty darn close so within 63 pixels, it's going to do another small adjustment because I told it to get within 50 pixels. It'll take another picture, do a plate saw off to make started. sure it's Exposure there. Started. Exposure, Exposure finished. finished. Go to Go to plus 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 finished. finished. And we are on our focus star. It's that easy. Point craft. And plate solving is gold. Right, now we just do, need to do the mount synchronization part. So it knows where it's at. We'll click sync for synchronize. Now the mount knows where it's at. And it also sent uh, the picture to Stellarium. So let's just go take a peek at Stellarium. And sure enough, there we are centered on Shadar just like we thought. All right, I'm going to go put the bat knob mask on now, and uh, we'll do our focus. One thing I'll show you before I leave to put the bat knob mask on. I'm still on the luminance filter, uh, but I like to turn the camera down now to one second and go to live view. So let's do that. Let's see what it looks like in one second live view. There it is. Now I'm going to go put the bat knob mask on, and we will complete our focus before I do that I'm gonna throw the ball for Venus so she gets happy and stops barking okay bat knob mask is on let's take a look at the focus I'll start with the magnifier now if you've ever used a bat knob mask you, you see the X here uh, it makes a uh, spike pattern with this X and when you're in focus is when this line, this straight line right here, dissects this X exactly right in the middle. So we're pretty doggone close to focus right now. We may be a tad, tad bit from perfect, so we'll see if we can tighten that up just a little bit. I like to use the uh, batten knob aid to uh, tighten up my focus. We're pretty close, just a little bit off, so we'll see what we can do about that. We go to the gear tab, and we'll use our motorized focuser to try and get on right on focus here. Get the step size set to 10. That's what I'll start with. <coughs> Deep Sky Clock Event. Okay, we're focused. Take the bat knob mask off now. All right, bat knob mask is off, so we're going to go back to five seconds uh, for the next plate solve. We'll call up Point Craft. We're going to go over to the Ghost of Cassiopeia. Now, it might or might not surprise you, but it is not in the database. So, I built a custom. Uh, object in the ghost of Cassiope Cassiopeia. I put the uh, right ascension and declination coordinates uh, where I wanted to land at uh, right in this custom object. So this is the one we're going to use for our go-to plus plus. And here we go. Just did a very, very quick adjustment to get over on uh, what I hope is the nebula. Exposure started. 
Exposure, Exposure finished. finished. That's probably Navi right there. You see it was within 1100 pixels. It made another slight adjustment. Now it's going to check again to see did it get in the right spot. Exposure, Exposure started. started. Exposure, Exposure finished. finished. Go to plus Go plus, to plus, finished. plus finished. All right, so it thinks it's on the ghost of Cassiopeia. So let's sync the mount. And it sent a picture to Stellarium. Let's go look and see where we are. So we are uh, right here. And I, and I centered uh, over here just so that we could catch some of this nebulosity over on uh, the side here. If I put it right on top of this uh, point, then we would be missing some. So this is the framing that I wanted right here. So we'll get our guiding going and start taking some pictures. Now, see, there's a double star right there. I, I'm going to try to avoid that because it might get confused from time to time and bounce back and forth between these two. So I'm going to go with this uh, this one down here in the corner. Uh, now it's going to have to calibrate. Okay, while the calibration is finishing up, we'll go ahead and set the uh, imaging plan up. I've got a plan here that's for O3 and HA, which is what we're going to do tonight. So, see here we're going with 10 minute exposures, HA, and then 10 minute of O3, and I'm going to alternate two, uh, two and two until I get a few, and then we'll uh, sw uh, switch over to five and five. This will uh, this will get us going, and uh, we'll see where to go from here. So our guiding, the calibration is finished. Uh, we are guiding. Uh, we'll see how it, how it goes later on, but for now that's looking reasonable. So. We will now launch the imaging plan. Filter change. Filter change. Exposure, exposure started. started. All right, so there goes our first uh, 10 minute exposure on the HA filter. And I will be back with you uh, when we have some pictures to look at. While we're waiting on this first HA image to come in, I thought I'd show you a couple things. Uh, back to the guiding here, you, you see I've had a couple of spikes, and I think the reason for that is so uh, we've got about a 10 knot breeze blowing. It's not that steady. I'm getting some gusts. Uh, I think that's the that's the reason that I'm looking at uh, around a one from a total RMS error. That's going to be good enough though. The other thing I wanted to show you. Uh, this bar over here on the left side of the astrophotography tool, uh, first of all, this is my meridian flip. It tells me I'm going to have a meridian flip in 263 minutes. If I don't want to cipher when that is, then it tells me the time. So at midnight 38, I'm going to get a meridian flip. Uh, so that's just to give me a heads up about that. Event. Now let's look up here. Uh, double click on this and it's going to show us the sunset, nautical twilight end, astro twilight end. That's what just happened here. So we're into dark now. Uh, and then on the back side of that, coming into morning, it's going to show you when uh, your dark goes away and the light starts. So just some more heads up items for you that uh, point craft, not point craft, astro photography tool gives you for planning purposes. All right, we're going to get our first 10 minute HA exposure in here in about uh, five seconds. So let's watch it come in. Exposure finished. Exposure finished. Exposure finished. Exposure finished. Exposure finished. Okay, that's what we have. So here's the, here's the primary part of the ghost of Cassiopeia. You can kind of see that outline. It looks a little bit like a ghost. Uh, the nebulosity runs along like this, and then here's the other side. Dithering, dithering finished. I said I wanted Exposure to catch it. Exposure started. started. Go back and take a look at it. The ghost is down here, runs along, then here, here's the rest of it. Of course, uh, we're, we're looking uh, about 90 degrees out from what uh, 
astrophotography do is showing us. Of course, here's the star Navi, also known as uh, Gamma Cassiopeia. Anyhow, our first 10-minute HA, there's a lot of signal here. And I think once we stack these, uh, this is going to make for a reasonable image. So I'll be back with you uh, when our uh, first O3 frame comes in, and we'll take a look at that. Now, since I last talked to you, I had an O3 image come in, and we're about to get a second one. Let's just take a look at this one here. You see there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of signal, but I can see some stuff right here and then maybe a little bit around the edges. So when we stack these, I think it's going to be okay. Now this Exposure one is coming finished. in now. I'm Dithering a little worried about started. it. Filter change. change. Well, it looks okay. I had, had a band of uh, thin clouds blow through uh, while this one was uh, taken, but it doesn't look much different than the last one. This is going to be okay. I think when we stack these, there's going to be enough uh, signal to work with. That's uh, Atlas. Yeah, that's just Geraldine and the kids. Uh, I think we're going to have enough signal to work with when we stack these and should come out with a pretty good picture. So if nothing else comes up, I will see you at the end.